There are a lot of theories about wing decollage or the difference in angle of incidence between the different wings on biplanes and triplanes so I thought I'd um, do a bit of an experiment. Uh, some people say you need less angle of incidence on the top wing, some say you need more angle of incidence. The theory I like is that you always want the top wing or the forward wing to stall first so you want more angle of incidence on the top than the bottom wings. That way if the top wing stalls the centre of lift goes back which means the centre of gravity is relatively forward so it goes nose down and um, re-establishes lift on the top wing. A bit like a canard I guess. Anyway what I've done is I've made the top wing able to pivot on the switch. Centre is roughly zero angle of incidence or zero decollage. Uh, up is up a few degrees and down is down a few degrees. So we'll start off with it in neutral or central and we'll see what happens. As always this could go badly. Nothing wrong with that. It's flying okay. Calm it down a bit fly around a bit. That's in neutral. That's flying flying nicely, no dramas. Nice and smooth. And that tucked. Gosh, what happened then? No idea. Well that was a bit radical. Don't really know what happened then. This may be the end of the Trixler as we know it, but um, you can only try. It could be because of the slop in the top wing maybe. But now, I have it in the up position. Oh, the wind keeps swinging around. What I need is a bit more height, I think. But anyway, let's go again. So that's down now, whoops, done it again. Well, there you go. That's interesting. It goes into a nose down attitude and uh, no amount of up elevator saves it. So if we slow down the video footage, I reckon around about here, just before it takes a dive, you can see the top wing tilting forward more than it should. The uh, profile of it just goes a lot thinner. There it is there. See that's the frame before and the frame after it starts to dip. Top wing goes slimmer in silhouette. Anyway let's have a look at the slow-mo of the crash. Ooh nasty. It's amazing how much planes flex and bend in a crash even in a hard landing. Amazing they survive it all really. Thanks for watching.